Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and the following is a video lesson from the Ultimate Lookup Formulas course. All right, so in this video we're going to look at the count if function and as an alternative to a VLOOKUP. And basically with count if we can just use it to test if a value exists. So a lot of times all we want to know, like in this case here, we just want to know if this name exists in this long list down here I have below. So you could use a VLOOKUP for that, um, but you could also use a count if. And a count if will sometimes give you a little more insight into that as well. So I'm just going to type equals here. And then the function name is count if, and then we'll hit tab. And then basically it's very simple function. It just has two arguments. The first is the range argument. This is the range that we want to look up into. And then the criteria would be the value that we want to look for. So for the range, I'm just going to select the cell here. I'm going to hit control shift down arrow to select the entire column. Of course, you could use Excel tables for this as well, make it a little easier. And then I'm going to hit F4 to anchor that. And then I'm going to hit comma. And now for the criteria, we basically we just want to look up this name right here. So I'm just going to select that cell and then uh, close the parentheses and hit enter. And so you can see that this is basically telling us that this name exists three times in the list down here. So that gives us, not only does it tell us that it exists, it also tells us that it exists more than once. So that can be a nice alternative to a VLOOKUP which would not give you that information. So now if I just copied this formula down here, we can check if all these names exist. Looks like Asher also exists three times, but Bob is not in the list. So that's an easy way to tell us that. Another nice feature of this is that uh, it won't return an error if the name doesn't exist. So if in this example here, if we used a VLOOKUP, this Bob Stevens would give us an NA error because the name cannot be found. Uh, with count if, it's just going to return a zero. So we don't have to handle the error. It just tells us there's a zero there. And then, of course, we could use some kind of conditional formatting or maybe another formula to flag that uh, particular row to show us that it doesn't exist. But it's a count if is a great alternative to a VLOOKUP when you just want to know if the value exists. So in the next video, we'll look at the count ifs function, which will basically just allow us to add multiple criteria to this check. So that was a video lesson from the Ultimate Lookup Formulas course. This is an online video course with over 100 short video lessons like the one you just watched. This course is comprised of eight training modules with practice assignments to help keep you on track throughout the course. You can watch the course anytime, anywhere, on any device. If you'd like to learn more about it, please click the link below at excelcampus.com lookups. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.